Prior to delving into today's topic, I'd like to acknowledge that what we're about to discuss may be sensitive for some viewers. If you're uncomfortable with this subject matter, feel free to click away. It's crucial to clarify that the intention of this video is not to disparage or diminish the hope of any specific group of individuals. Instead, my aim is to foster awareness and understanding surrounding the subject at hand. In this video, we will explore how one's appearance, specifically being perceived as unattractive or ugly, can significantly impact various aspects of life, spanning from childhood and teenage years to adulthood. The way a person looks carries substantial weight in shaping perceptions and treatment by others, influencing dating prospects, and even affecting social interactions in school and the workplace. As usual, this video will be divided into two parts. The first part will delve into what factors contribute to deeming a person unattractive and offer realistic improvement advice, while the second part will explore the experiences of unattractive individuals in different facets of life. So, what contributes to a face being perceived as less attractive based on my evaluations and data analysis? In many cases, individuals who score below average, or in terms often referred to as black pill, below a 5 out of 10, tend to have factors such as obesity impacting key features like the jaw, mid-face, eyes, and neck. Others may have malformities, deformities, or significant underdevelopment in crucial facial features like the jaw, maxilla, and eyes. Sometimes, even minor irregularities in the lips or nose can contribute to someone being perceived as below average in terms of attractiveness. However, it's important to note that this can vary. For those who fall into the below average category due to a high body fat percentage without accompanying deformities, there is a silver lining. Unlike those with facial malformations, you may not necessarily require plastic surgery. Instead, achieving a healthy body fat percentage, typically around 15%, is often sufficient. If you aim for increased facial definition, consider dropping to a body fat percentage between 10 to 12. While this can be challenging to maintain, the best things in life often require effort. Beyond addressing body fat, other aspects come into play. Dressing according to your body type, choosing a suitable haircut and beard style, getting physically fit, honing social skills, skin care, and self-motivation are essential. This journey may include figuring out how to maximize your genetic potential. For those facing facial malformations or deformities, the path may involve plastic surgery and other interventions, depending on the specific issue. While I won't delve into plastic surgery details in this video, I'm open to creating a dedicated video on the topic in the future. In my work, I often recommend specific plastic surgeries to clients scoring below a 5 out of 10 due to facial malformations. Following corrective procedures, the same principles apply. Strive to look max and reach your genetic potential to enhance overall attractiveness. The specifics post-surgery can vary from person to person. I also detest the societal judgment surrounding men and the shame they face if they choose to undergo plastic surgery. Many are unaware that such procedures can significantly enhance their quality of life. The common response to encourage confidence with a simple, just be confident, bro, fails to acknowledge that confidence is cultivated through effort and personal investment, which may include plastic surgery. Confidence doesn't magically appear overnight without any action. That's simply delusion. Individuals deemed unattractive or below average in appearance often endure the early consequences of their looks through bullying. This mistreatment is especially harsh on young individuals who may be bullied for facial deformities, malformations, or factors beyond their control, such as being overweight, which is ultimately the responsibility of the parents. An article from The Guardian recounts the stories of Marcus and Yasmin, who suffered bullying due to facial malformations and severe scarring, respectively. Marcus, born with a cleft lip and palate, underwent 15 operations, yet his appearance remained a target for ridicule. Moving up a year in school led to intensified bullying, with classmates labeling him Scarface and Mushy Monster. Despite Marcus seeking help from teachers, no action was taken. Similarly, Yasmin faced teasing and bullying in secondary school due to severe scarring from an illness. The lack of support from her school eventually led her to drop out completely. The stories of Marcus and Yasmin underscore the need for a more compassionate and understanding approach to appearance-related challenges, particularly among young individuals. You may assume that only children exhibit negative behavior towards each other, but that's not the case. Adults are no exception. They failed to advocate for the kids, and at times, even the teachers treated them poorly. 
displaying bias based on looks. Unfortunately, society tends to link attractiveness with intelligence and virtue, while associating less appealing looks with stupidity and negativity. This unfair treatment contributes to bullying, leading kids to experience depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, and self-harming tendencies. Despite claims that personality is all that matters, the harsh reality is evident in the suffering kids endure due to their appearance. Many of them likely possess wonderful personalities, but these qualities often remain overshadowed by the relentless abuse they face. As they navigate the crucial ages of 13 to 18 in middle and high school, they enter a phase of developing attraction to the opposite gender, making their experiences even more challenging. To illustrate this point, I have a clip from a video titled, Being Ugly, My Experience, which gained viral attention in 2018. In this clip, the speaker shares his perspective on navigating the dating scene in middle and high school as someone considered below average in attractiveness. Let's watch the clip to delve into this topic further. I had a very big trouble having friends as younger. Everyone always avoided me, found ways to get rid of me, and I sort of didn't care back then. And, and I ended up in school. I remember the first time I started, I was never like caring about girls. Girls were like, meh. Because I remember being young, they chased around the other guys at the schoolyard. And they were like pretending like the girls were trying to kiss the boys. And the guys were like, ew. And I remember how they all chased each other. And no one chased me. So I was just standing there being like, what the fuck? I think the total sum... From when I was 15 to 17 was well over four or 500 girls that I wrote with, that I tried to get into a relationship with. And that's not normal girls. I've never gone for the normal attractive girls. I never, I, I knew from the start, like this is, they, they are not for me. They set these standards that are so high. They want attractive guys that are smart and funny and everything. So I set up, like, I tried to write with those, with girls. And I wrote with girls that were overweight, that didn't look so good. Some of them had a big nose like me. Some had big lips. Some had shorter hair. I even wrote with about, I think it was like three, three girls that were handicapped. No, this time I was between 15 to 17 years, so I was quite young. And every single one called me ugly. Every single one. Wow, that statement always startles me every time I hear it. Even individuals facing physical challenges are still pursuing relationships with high-caliber individuals. If you think being average and inconspicuous is tough, consider the plight of those being labeled as unlovable facing constant criticism for simply existing. Obtaining love and intimacy, fundamental human desires, becomes incredibly difficult, if not nearly impossible. As a result, some individuals give up entirely on finding a partner, resigning themselves to a life of solitude or succumbing to the crushing weight of loneliness. Unfortunately, some people reach a point where they contemplate ending their lives as they perceive it to be a better escape than enduring such a challenging existence. However, the individual in the video has transformed his negative experiences into motivational content, uplifting others and turning adversity into positivity. Moving on to the professional realm, Daniel Hammamesh, a U.S. economist, authored a book titled Beauty Pays, Why Attractive People Are More Successful. While I won't delve into the entire book, I'll provide you with the essence of it. Beauty Pays illustrates how society tends to favor the attractive, showcasing the substantial benefits that aesthetically pleasing individuals experience across various facets of life. Hamamesh demonstrates that attractive individuals are more likely to secure employment, work more productively, and yield profitable projects. They also receive higher pay, obtain loan approvals more easily, negotiate loans with better terms, and often end up with more attractive and highly educated spouses. Hamamesh explores the reasons behind these phenomena and their implications for both the beautiful and those who may not conform to conventional standards of beauty. The book delves into whether a universal standard of beauty exists, outlining how attractive workers tend to earn more money, examining gender disparities in these earnings, and shedding light on how looks are valued differently across various professions.
he explores the question of whether offering additional compensation to attractive individuals constitutes discrimination, and if so, identifies the party responsible for the discrimination. The book he recommends delves into this topic, revealing a harsh reality where less aesthetically pleasing individuals are often treated as inferior in various aspects of life. Through this video, he aims to unveil the truth surrounding this matter, challenging the common belief that looks are insignificant compared to personality. While acknowledging the importance of personality, he asserts that physical appearance holds equal or even greater significance. It's important to note that successful people can exist regardless of societal perceptions of attractiveness. The video sheds light on the challenges faced by the majority in this regard. That wraps up today's content. I hope you found it insightful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, see you in the next one.